obviously a big win tonight. What are your overall thoughts about the match? Yeah, super happy with the win. It's been a while, obviously, uh, but I think the, the real bright spot were, were the guys coming on. Uh, they were game changers, and that's what we needed them to be. Provided energy, won their duels, helped us, uh, you know, get a buffer uh, after the the second goal. So it was great by everybody, especially the guys coming in. You had uh, Cisniego back there in goal. What was that like getting him back for the first time in two months? Yeah, it was it was good to have him back. Uh, you know, it's a seamless transition with with Kendall and with uh, with Pablo, two two fantastic goalkeepers, and happy to have them both here. It gives them gives us uh, in the back line a lot of confidence, um, and it, it was a great win for everybody tonight. Game winner. Uh, especially in this type of weather. Yeah. What did you make of that? The on the pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we. I don't think our track record is great over the last couple of years with pens. Um, so no, it was great to to have our our main striker get get two goals again tonight. So hopefully we can keep feeding him, putting him in good spots because he's on a roll right now. Any nerves because the pen? Uh, I wasn't taking it, so no, I, I, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I mean, honestly, he's uh, he's a killer. He's he's played at the highest levels. He, he's composed. Um, so he he has my full trust, and I knew he was going to score. What do you, uh, when a guy like Juan mentioned two goals back to back uh, matches now, what does a player like that do for you? Considering you know you mentioned Sisniega being back in goal tonight, you guys have had some injuries and adversity. What is having him on a constant scoring streak like this do for you? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I, I think it, it does a lot for for us defensively as well. When you have a guy who's a real threat, threat up top, um, you know, it, it makes the the other team second guess and have to pay attention to somebody. So it's great when the strikers are scoring. I'd love to score all the time, but uh, I'd, I'd rather have the strikers do it. So it, it was fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the weather was not the best today. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, you know, there, there was a delay a little bit. Um, obviously, field must not have been. Nice to play on in that weather. Did, did that have any effect on, on the play tonight? No, honestly, the pitch was amazing. It, it held up really, really well. Um, I know that the, the grounds crew does a lot of work. Um, I'm in contact with them every week, giving them the schedule and you know trying to help them out as much as they help us out. Uh, it's a, a complete club club effort, these wins. Um, so super thankful for them. The pitch was amazing. Uh, you know, a little rain didn't hurt anybody. So hopefully if uh, you know it'll rain next time we play as well, because it, it was good luck tonight. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned the uh, next game, what is a friendly next match? Uh, chance for guys maybe who have been injured to maybe be in the lineup or they have the legs back a little bit or maybe to see some of the academy players out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's for sure a question for Alan, but that's what I'm assuming is going to happen. But um, for the guys that are going to get minutes, it's a great opportunity to, to gain fitness and just practice the fundamentals that we, we preach every day uh, in, in a game setting against a top opponent. So it's going to be great for the club, great for the fans, and you know, hopefully we win that one as well. Like we mentioned, two games in a row that Juan has scored, uh, but also it's two games in a row that Jorge has been Juan for a goal, at least one goal, and he did it earlier in the season. What have you seen with their partnership developing this year? Yeah, I mean, Jorge's magic on the ball. Everyone knows that. Um, you know, other teams know that, and he still finds a way to get out of tight spaces and put the ball on a platter for the striker. So, again, it's really good that they're, they're building that relationship, and it seems like it's come together the last two games for them. Um, so hopefully they, they can keep that up, and hopefully other guys will get on the score sheet. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think everyone was, was on it today. And although we, we lost five in a row, it really, really sucked. But I'm really proud of the guys for sticking together in the locker room, because it would have been really easy to, to point fingers. And although we didn't win any of those games when we were really, really pushing, um, I think the attitude was right. And I think that is, you know, really set us up for success tonight when we have more guys coming back um, and, and guys healthy. Going back to Juan last week, uh, he mentioned, you know, team didn't get the win last week. You know, guys maybe didn't give it their all. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I believe that. Um, so getting a win like tonight, obviously you get the goal first, Phoenix on the back, get the, get the game winner and penalties. What does that do for you guys considering you just, as you mentioned, broke a five-game winless streak, hopefully you start a new one. What is that? Does this kind of give you a little confidence as you – going into the second half of the season? Yeah, you know, I think every game we would like to win 3-0, 4-0 and have it be a breeze, but I think these wins mean more is the fact that we can keep fighting back and not put our heads down. We can build ourselves back into the game and, uh, you know, play the way that we want to play and dictate the, the play. So I think that was a, a huge, huge moment uh, of adversity for us and a huge moment for overcoming that. Speaking of how the match kind of ceased on a bit, uh, you guys haven't been the best at holding on to leads over the last couple of months. So how did it feel, even though you 
you know, you let that equalize, wind off that goal back, and you were able to see out that lead. How did it feel being able to do that for a change again? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, it's a brand new team this year. There's a lot of moving pieces, especially in the back line, and I think the additions of Jake and Nelson have been amazing, and going back to holding the lead at the end, I think the guys coming in were, were game changers for us. Uh, you know, over the last couple of months, we haven't had people coming off the bench. We maybe had one guy, and it's really difficult for one person to change the game coming off the bench. So it was a culmination of Alan making good subs and the guys coming in and really making an impact. And a little over a month ago, you guys got a 1 0 win over Memphis, and it was kind of thought maybe this is going to be the turning point. Maybe they turn things around. Obviously, it didn't quite work mm -hmm. out. So, <clears throat> why do you think this might pose a, a better opportunity to start making that run, straining results? Uh, together again. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy tonight, you know, going back to that kind of gritty win, going up one, thinking we're, you know, flying high at halftime and, you know, saying, hey, boys, we got to keep it going. Then the beginning of the second half didn't go our way, um, but then bouncing back after that after that goal was, was huge. So hopefully it's a, a good turning point. We're getting a lot of bodies back, um, and, and that really does help. And I know we talk about no excuses, but there are reasons to to what was going on the last last couple months in that five game win streak and I think we, we showed it tonight that when, when we have our guys and, and everyone's bought in like they are then that really makes a difference.